Oxford, Texas. Happy to be joined by Cowboys wide receiver Cole Beasley. Cole, your album debut, it, it happens this coming Saturday. Tell us about it. Yeah, man, uh, I've been really excited. Uh, I really feel like it's been delayed for a long time, so I um, feel like it would never get to this moment, but uh, I'm really excited about it. We're having an album release party at La Pa Cantina Saturday. Um, it's going to be really fun. Everybody uh, in the public is invited to come out, so I'm excited. Are you still getting used to people now knowing you as a, mu as a musical artist? Are people now still saying, man, Cole, I didn't know you rapped? You know, it's, it's, it's still weird kind of hearing myself played in places, and um, it's almost uncomfortable at first just because I'm not used to it. Um, I mean, I've been doing music for so long just by myself, but nobody was really listening to it but me and, and just a few of my buddies. So um, I actually went to Kroger today uh, in Prosper, and some guy had 80 stings just blasting. Wow. And it was just, it was just kind of uh, just weird to hear it, but uh, it, was, it was pretty exciting and awesome at the same time. Yeah, that, he blasting. didn't know you were there, though, right? No, he didn't. And I walked right, I walked right behind him, and then I just hear it just blasting in this big truck. <laughs> and it was just, uh, it was almost like, uh, it almost made me try to duck and cover and like run. <laughs> it was just, it, it's a feeling that I've never really experienced before. 80 Stings, of course, your uh, your your hit single, your hit single that came out, your your debut. You know, it sold 100,000 units in one day. It rose to number 12 on iTunes hip hop chart. You know, this, this must be still like a, a case where you must be amazed at the success you're having. Even though you probably knew uh, you had this ability, you have to still be amazed, I would think, at the success you're having so far. I didn't know it was going to do that well, um, but I really think this is, this is only the beginning for me. If we can, I want to bring in your uh, producer as well, Victor uh, Fast Clark. I, I want to talk about this uh, collaboration that we hear that has taken place with Run DMC. The legendary Run DMC, Cole, you've collaborated with him, Cole and Victor. How did that come about and, and what can we expect to hear? Because that won't be on your album that's coming out on Saturday, but that is coming our way sometime soon. What brought that all about was the success of 80s things. It, it definitely went viral and it was all over. And actually it was DMC that uh, reached out and uh, you know that just led him to come into Dallas and him and Cole got in the booth and it was it was it was awesome. And I was just excited to, to experience him in the studio and just watch him work um, and just seeing the process of how he makes music. Um, it's like like he said he's one of the legends in Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and you know it's just to see a guy of you know, who's done it already and done it well and how they work, it's just, um, it's fun to watch. It's like, I mean, if you compare it to the NFL, it's like me going and seeing Wes Welker and Randy Moss running routes, you know, it's from a long time ago. So, um, it was crazy. What's your message to Cowboys fans as you propel your second career and as you take, the, you try to take this thing uh, on and on and on and to the point where you're the, you're, you're the GOAT, just like it says on your uh, Kobe Ryan shirt right there. You're the GOAT. What do you, what's your message to Cowboys fans? You know, I don't, I don't think it's going to be a distraction to my team as well because, you know, they've been hearing it too. Now, that, now it's public. But, you know, when I'm, when I'm doing music, it's music. But when I get to the football, it's football. And I know a lot of, you know, media at the locker room are going to try to bring it in there. But I'm just going to let them know that I'm going to shut it down now. And once I get to football, it's, it's about the team. It's not about me. And uh, the goal is still to get a Super Bowl, always. <laughs>